What's up guys, James here again. Now today, ooh, another Final Cut tutorial for you. You know, you get the animated kind of, like you've written on the screen with a little text or whatever. I want that on my intro. My logo is kind of uh, handwritten style. I think it would work quite well. So that's what we're gonna be making today in Final Cut Pro. Uh, you get to see it before I've even made it, because it's gonna be in my intro that we're gonna roll now. So, how was that then? Any good? Do you want to find out how to make it? Let's jump over to Final Cut and we'll have a look. Now, although I am doing it in Final Cut, you can actually do this in obviously any editing software. And the theory is kind of the same, just the buttons you'll be pressing will be in different places, I guess. But um, definitely achievable in Premiere Pro as well. We're using Final Cut. One thing I will say from when I've done these before, they are pretty boring. It takes a while. Um, Obviously, the more letters you've got as well, the longer it's going to take. They are quite dull. So, bear that in mind. You're not going to be doing this for every single one of your titles. But if you want to use it for like, you know, like I'm doing here for like, like an intro for a YouTube channel, or I tend to do it as well for like the start of like a band sort of promo reel or a sizzle reel or something like that. It's worth spending the time, pretty cool title, but you're not going to be doing it for everyone because it takes far too long. Unless you've got the patience of a saint, which I haven't got. But anyway, I digress. Let's jump over to it. I've logged my logo in. Um, this is just an image at the moment. I'm going to just concentrate on the words James Baldwin and then I'll worry about the photo and video a bit later. One thing I will say is this definitely works best, it may sound obvious, but with fonts that look like they're handwritten fonts. Uh, normal kind of like sans serif fonts or whatever, they, well, it doesn't work so well, it just looks weird, but you want the nice handwritten font. Other thing you wanna do is you wanna work out how long you want the whole thing to last, work out the frame rate of the video it's gonna be put in, um, and kinda of go back from there. Now I know that I want it to be about a couple of seconds, two or three seconds long, um, and in the past I've kind of thought that about four or five frames per letter seems to look fairly natural without it being too rushed. So I've got 12 letters here. If I did four frames a letter, that's 48 frames. Now I'm gonna be putting this into a 25p timeline. So that's two seconds-ish. That'll do, I think that'll be a good start. So I'm gonna aim for four frames per uh, letter. Okay, let's go. All you need for this is a draw mask. So I'm gonna come down here to effects. I'm gonna type in mask, find draw mask, drag it onto my clip. And I'm gonna come right back to the beginning. Now you're gonna to need to add a whole bunch of control points, uh, like eight or 10, something like that, because you're really gonna to need to be able to later on manipulate the shapes. I'm gonna add my control points, so Let's make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join them back up together again. You wanna make sure you're right back at the beginning and you'll add a keyframe. So you add the keyframe, the keyframes are what you'll be changing. So basically at every frame along this sequence, there'll be a new keyframe. And you'll say that at a given keyframe, uh, move the control points to these, these positions and it will slowly kind of move around the shape of the letters and that's how you get the effect. So we'll add a keyframe, step one. And let's start having a look. This is kind of where it's quite, in, I, I, oh, I hate this, but here we go. So we want probably, so we've got four seconds, four, four frames, sorry, for this. All right, let's get our control points in order. We'll drag all these across here. Okay, we're ready. So, well, frame zero, we want nothing. Press left and right on your keyboard to uh, move along your frame. So frame one, here we go. And you can see in the middle here, you've got your counter to see what frame you're on. So I wanna see a little bit of my J coming through. Um, and you wanna kinda think about how you'd write letters in real life. So you'd probably do the top and then you'd come down and come across. So we'll have frame one like that. Frame two, we'll put like that. 
And you can start to come back and see how this is looking. So frame one. So frame three will start to uncover the bottom of this. And then frame four will uncover the whole letter. So you can go back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the next letter. So we're on frame five. So um, you can toggle on and off the mask by just clicking this effects button up here, which will turn the whole thing off. So you can have a look at what's going ahead. So the A will probably start at the top, come back round, go up, go back down. Let's try that. So uh, we're on frame five. So this is we want to start seeing a bit of this next letter now. Um, so let's see if we want. Let's move these control points around a little bit. This is why you need to make sure that you've got quite a lot of control points when you get going because um, you will be using quite a lot of them to kind of create these shapes around the letters. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more as well. I did say this is tedious, I didn't lie. Right, the things we do, the things we do for a nice title, eh? Blah. Right, I'm happy with that for my step one. Five, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two. We'll come down a little bit and show a bit more of that. Next step, we'll come up and have a bit of that. Next step, we'll show the whole letter. Okay, so you can start to see now four frames, another four frames. As you can see, these are pretty tedious. So I won't, I won't make you watch all of this. We'll skip ahead, um, we'll whiz through, I'll do all the rest of the letters and we'll see how it looks at the end. Another little tip that may be helpful, I've just discovered that whilst I've been doing this, um, probably helpful to add markers as well, so you can actually see where your letters are forming. So if I were to go forward four frames here, one, two, three, four, and hit M, I'll get my little marker on my timeline. Um, so three, four, another one, one, two, three, four, another one, one, two, three, four, one. Kind of helps you see, helps you visualize as you're going along where all your letters should be as, you, as you're kind of progressing through your animation. All right, back to it. All right, we've done the first word. So let's take stock. Let's come back to the beginning. Let's play through. Not looking too bad. Only one more word to go. Unfortunately, it's got more letters. Ugh, but here we go. Boom, there we go, we're all done. Nice. So if we come back, let's have a little look, see if it's any good. Pretty happy with that, I think that looks not too bad. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. 
great use of titles for you know, like your music videos or your travel videos or even if you're just making vlogs or anything like that. Doesn't take too long to do. Maybe I over exaggerated a little bit. What was that? I don't know, I don't know 10 minutes or something. Kind of long for a title. Definitely worth spending the time though if you're doing like a proper kind of promo video or an intro for your channel or anything like that. Anyway guys, if that was helpful, give the video a little like down below, smash that subscribe button, um, and I'll catch you soon in the next one. Peace.